Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 25th. How the heck did that happen? <laughs> Summer is here, spring is in the past, uh, and we charge headlong to fall now, I guess. Time is moving so quickly. I hope you're all having a great weekend. Um, it's been raining here. Not, uh, can't say it's bad weather, but it's been it's been raining quite a bit over the past week or so. Uh, which is great for the garden, but it's also been sunny off and on. You know, today it's actually kind of sunny. We're going to get up to about 82. Yeah, not too terrible, but rain, intermittent thunderstorms, and it was all wet this morning. So would have actually been a beautiful morning to sit outside with a cigar and enjoy myself, but everything was wet. Yeah. Yeah. The, the chairs and the table, and I didn't want to deal with it. Anyway, such is life. And I know you don't tune in for a weather report, but it gives me something to talk about at the beginning of the video, and you know how it is. Anyway, folks, I've got uh, my Stan Nokowski today. Thank you, Christian. And uh, on a bookshop because it's comfortable. And uh, yeah, just kind of enjoying the morning so far. Did a little bit of uh, tidying up this morning. Been doing some tidying up down here, you probably can't tell, but the bench behind me had gotten to be quite a mess as I was making those cob stems, and uh, they're done, so I cleaned some of that out, and uh, that was that was a relief, because now I get like a working surface again. Uh, did some work yesterday on my uh, sharpening storage thing that I haven't worked on in months, so I had to remember what I was doing. That was a lot of fun. And this morning, I there, there's a little end table next to the chair that I sit in upstairs when we're watching TV or whatnot and it tends to accumulate stuff you know it's it's where I keep my 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 current pipe and the, like the pipe stuff that I need you know jar on a bookshop a tamper or so, so on and so on um, plus other miscellaneous like my keys go there and you know over time it starts to accumulate like receipts and change and bits and bobs stuff and it gets to a point where either I say hmm I better do something about that or my wife yells at me and this time I got it before she yelled so I'm happy with that so this morning I spent a little bit of time tidying that up and bringing a bunch of stuff down here a couple of books and things like that and uh, yeah so it was good but as I was doing this I, I was thinking about stuff because and by stuff, I mean items. Because, um, you know, you're going through things and you're like, do I throw this away or do I keep it? And, guys, I've got a problem. I am a silly sentimentalist, I believe. I keep things that I think the majority of people would throw away. And this is a problem because it leads to a very cluttered life, a uh, very cluttered workspace for sure. And I'd like to get better at this, but I, I tend to attach meaning to things. And attachment isn't good. You know, it's not good to be attached to things because that, that leads to, well, according to Buddhists, that leads to suffering. Um, but I think that's more about the desire for things than the actual things that you already have being attached to those and honoring them in a sense you know if you have a good tool well made you've had it for a long time maybe you got it from someone else maybe it was your father's tool uh, or you bought it at a, at a yard sale and cleaned it up and stuff yeah, that tool becomes important it has it has a for lack of a better word a spirit about it and you know, it becomes a, it's not just a thing anymore. It's, 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 uh, it's got a personality. It sounds silly to say a tool has a personality, but it does. And it becomes irreplaceable. And to some extent, that's okay, you know, with things like tools. Because, you know, you're not going to be tossing tools at the trash any time. We well, shouldn't, anyway. Or maybe pipes. Lighters, campers, 
<laughs> but what about something like this? So this was actually on my bench yesterday. I was trying to clear off the bench a bit to make room as I was uh, chopping some dovetails. And I came across this. If you recall back when I was doing the crop cutter, I made a little dovetail box to go with that. And it had been a long time since I cut dovetails. So I had to cut a bunch of practice dovetails to get the skill back again. And this is one of the later examples of that. It's not a perfect dovetail, but you know, it's it's pretty good. It, it's, it fits together. It's, it's, it's a pretty reasonable dovetail joint and I was happy with it. So I set this aside and I took a picture of it to brag about it. You know, <laughs> that's what you do now. And it's been sitting on my bench ever since. And now it's like this, this sort of embodiment of that whole experience is tied up in this little, two little pieces of wood. These are useless. I mean, they're scraps of cherry. I should throw this away. And I probably will throw this away, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to do that. It's silly sentimentality. You know, there's absolutely no reason to attach meaning to this. But for some reason, it's, it's acquired a meaning. And I think that's bad because it, it does lead to a lot of clutter and yeah, it just makes it more difficult to get through life if you're carrying things like this around with you. So as a cleaning as I was cleaning off the table, I came across this packet of papers. And I thought, what is this? And I open it up. And inside it is a bunch of receipts. And this is, the paper itself is actually the receipt from a hotel. So as uh, most of you know, my, uh, my father passed away last November. And I had the opportunity to go up to Vermont to visit him for a couple of days in uh, late October. So it was the last time I saw him. Uh, he was in a hospital in... Um, near Burlington. I, I can't remember the name of the town. So I got a hotel there and yeah, so it could be close to the hospital and, and go and spend time with them. And while I was there, I had to eat meals. And, and that that's the little packet of stuff. It's the hotel receipt and all the receipts from the meals and stuff that I just kind of kept together. I used to travel a lot on business. So I have this habit of keeping receipts together like that when I travel. Uh, not that I'm going to get reimbursed, but you know, I just do it out of habit. And, you know, there's, as silly as it is, there's a lot of emotion tied up in this little packet of paper, you know. Last time I saw my dad, um, it, I remember when I, when I picked this up, when I saw this and realized what it was, I remember the hotel, I remember the restaurant, uh, the drive to the hospital, the time I sat in the room with them and, and the conversations we had and, you know, that whole experience, in a, in a sense, is kind of trapped in this. And of course, it's in my mind. This is just a trigger. But yet, this somehow is important to me. As silly as this sounds, this little packet of useless paper is important to me. And I don't quite know what to do about that. I think a normal person would throw this away. I... Don't know if I can do that. It's it's sentimentality, and frankly, I think it's silly sentimentality, but such is life. I knocked my tamper onto the ground while I was talking, so I'm going to fetch that, and I'll be right back. I'm back. So, yeah, I, I'm curious to know if I'm alone in this, or if others have these problems. And... It ranges, you know, I've got a problem with nuts and bolts and screws and things like that. If I'm going to throw something away like a, oh, I don't know, let's say I've got a, a, a broken drill, a broken uh, cordless drill, and it's it's got to be thrown away. I'm picking on a broken cordless drill because I did this about two years ago. It's, it's broken. It's going in the trash. 
Well, I take it apart, I save the screws, I save the chuck. I actually use the chuck, so I'm glad I saved it. Screws go in bins and stuff. They never get well. I do. I do use them. You know. I'll, oh gosh, I need a screw. I'll sort through. I'll, hey, that'll work. And you know, it, it's it's nice to have that. It saves a trip to the hardware store. So it's not that there's no value in it, but at the same time, you know, what about that little piece of wire that you're saving, or the the that little plastic doodad that looks like it might be useful. You don't even know what it is, but it might be useful someday. I've got like pieces of plastic tubing about this long. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> but you need you wind up needing a warehouse for this stuff. So I got to I got to get better at this. So what what do you guys do? How do you decide what it is that you're going to keep, especially the folks that are that are you know uh, home improvement shop guys, guys that make stuff, guys that uh have hobbies. What do you do with your stuff? How do you decide what to keep and what to throw away? When I first started fly tying, this is actually a really great example. I'm sorry, I was going to finish, but I'm going to tell you this story. When I first started fly tying, I would go out and uh, walk my beagle. By the way, I've got some beagle fur that I use in fly tying occasionally. Uh, the beagle butt uh, hairs of your nymph is a, is a killer. So I, go, I walked my beagle and it was, we were in Atlanta and it was Christmas time and people were throwing away their Christmas trees and there was all this tinsel and I thought, wow, that's, that's fly tying material. So I gathered up a pocket full of multicolored tinsel. I stuck it in a Ziploc bag and Never used it. It's not good fly tying material, you know. It's somewhere in my fly tying mess over there. It's not a mess now. It's in a plastic bin, but it's that's a lot of stuff. I don't need that. But it's not just the Ziploc bag. And by the way, it's a small Ziploc bag. It's not like I got a. You know, but it's not just a Ziploc bag of tinsel, it's a memory. It, it's my beagle and, you know, how he would go sniffing around and while I was picking the tinsel off the, the tree and trying to hide it from my wife when I came home <laughs> because she would yell at me for doing it. Silly sentimentality. We all have it. And some of it's not so silly. Ah. Uh, well. What's going on here in the shop? So. We're in a good place. Uh, finally got those cob stems out the door. Which was uh, a relief for me. They turned out well. The, the guy that I sent them to is very happy with them. So I'm happy about that. Uh. And also, as, as a bonus, I got to use the, the Eldritch resin that's uh, made by Chris Kelly of Eldritch Pipes. And the first time I tried this stuff, anybody out there that makes pipe stems, give it a shot. It's, it's really nice stuff. Colors are kind of wild, but sometimes you want that. Um, but man, it works really nice. It, it's much nicer than, than acrylic. Uh, and it's got, I, I don't know about the mouthfeel because I haven't made a stem for myself, but I'm guessing it's going to be more like a, a vulcanite stem in your mouth. Uh, nice stuff. So I'm back to working on my uh, sharpening supply thing, possibly sharpening station. I haven't decided yet if I'm actually going to mount my, my new grinder to the top of this or if I'm going to have a separate thing for that. I'm still going back and forth on it, but it's basically a chest of drawers and I'm dovetailing the top two edges right now. Got one done, working on the, the second one. So that's moving along. And uh, as soon as that's done, I can get the grinder set up. I can get all this sharpening stuff organized and bring a little bit more organization to my life and get back to uh, playing with Briar. So I'm looking forward to that. Of course, with it being summertime, it's going to be slow because I've got 
other stuff I gotta do. The outdoor stuff. Which is all good and all fun. So I'm gonna work on that for a little bit this morning. Um, I believe we're going out this afternoon. Get some brunch, as much as I hate the term. And uh, do a little bit of shopping. We gotta get dog food in and stuff like that. And then probably just take it easy this evening. Maybe watch a movie. We shall see. So with that, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. I'm looking forward to a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.